All right, welcome to this first video uh, in my video series of an introduction to machine learning. So in these uh, first couple of videos, first few videos, my idea is always to uh, give you a, an intuition of machine learning with very simple examples before we go into uh, more difficult problems, more difficult examples, uh, more deep theory, and also eventually with actual practical applications using uh, Python, um, R Studio, things like that. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, obviously in this word machine learning is this word learning, so what is learning? Um, so the literature calls it machine learning, other literature calls it statistical learning, and others learning from data. So this word is learning. And essentially what's happening is uh, machine learning is to learn relationships in data. Relationships in data using computers, computer algorithms, models. Okay. Um, Goodfellow says it's to extract patterns and trends in data. So you're given some data, inputs, outputs, and what you're trying to do is find patterns, find trends. Okay. Uh, Abu Mustafa et al. say that it is to improve performance with experience accumulated from observed data. Okay, performance. Uh, generally, when we're speaking about performance, we're speaking about predictions. Okay. Um, so, for example, here, to improve performance, uh, say now you're given a data set, and the data set's very small. It only has a few observed uh, data points, and you extract a pattern or a trend, or you develop this relationship in the data to carry out predictions, then as you increase the, 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 the number of observed data, the amount of data, then your performance or the, the algorithm's performance can actually improve with experience by accumulating more and more observed data. Okay? Uh, and, and essentially, what is, what is one of the main goals of machine learning? So it's, it's to, uh, it is to develop these relationships, right? Uh, these models, uh, to get these patterns. But the idea is that we want to use these to predict. We want, we want to carry out predictions. We want to be able to generalize. Okay. So we, we have a bunch of data. All of that data obviously is historic data, data from previous years. Data from yesterday, data from five minutes ago. We, 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 the word actually is we want to train our model, but we'll get to that later. We train a model. We learn this relationship so that we can generalize to new cases, new cases. Okay. So let's, let's look at a very, very simple example to to get the intuition behind it, okay? So this simple intuitive example is we want to predict housing price based on the size of a house. Okay, so um, what we the output feature, we want to predict price, that is our output, based on an input feature, which is the house size. Now I've made up these numbers, um, the price. So this is now historical data, right? Historical data. Data that we've gotten from previous years, for example. It's data that we have. And so we would like to find a relationship, a trend, a model uh, in the data. And with this specific one, we would like to find a relationship between the input feature and the output feature. So we want essentially, we want price as a function of house size, right? So we've got this data. 
We've got price here in dollars, okay, four hundred thousand dollars, three seventy-five, five hundred, etc. And for each of these um, houses, we've got their uh, the size in square meters because I'm from South Africa. Ninety-five square meters, hundred and fifty, two hundred. This is a very simple, basic example. And so you go and plot it. So there's ninety-five. So this will be on the x-axis. We will have size right in square meters and price in dollars okay so here we do have it so 95 is is uh, 375 over here let's call it in like 375 thousand and for the hundred square meter house it's four hundred thousand okay and for the 150 house, it's 500,000. And then, of course, 700,000. So these are my actual data points. This is my data. And what we're trying to do is we are trying to find a model, a, a trend, a pattern, right? We're trying to maybe find a, a, a model that looks maybe something like this. P is equal to... B0 plus B01X, where X is the size. Okay, so this is just a very simple example. And then, and then what do you want to do? You want to take this model and find a new instance, and, and, and you're given a new instance. Say, okay, well, now I've got, I've got a new house and it's 175 square meters. Can you please predict what the price is? So we've learned the data. Okay, we'll get into exactly how, it, how we do that later. I mean, the learning is actually by learning parameters, these parameters before, these coefficients. Okay, but now that we've got our model, we, we put in a new, we want to generalize, generalize. We want to predict new cases. So we put in a new number and then out comes a prediction for what that, the price of that house would be. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the next one.